Welcome to In Her Voice. My name is Kelly Covert, and I am passionate about helping women live authentically by listening to their inner voice. Get ready to be inspired by women of all walks of life that have set aside their should be's and not good enoughs and are standing in their true voice, the voice of wisdom that each and every one of us has inside. episode 35 of In Her Voice. My name is Kelly Covert and I am so excited that you hit play today because I have a feeling this is just for you. Today I am talking about being all in. So let me give you a little background on this. Whenever I'm thinking and preparing for my solo episodes, coming up with ideas for what to do, I will write things down. I will make notes of things that come to my mind. I will do different things to sort of like get my energy going, to spark some ideas. And what I wrote down for this episode was actually why I podcast. And the reason that that's been on my mind is because Even as you listen to this, I will be at Podcast Movement, a podcasting conference in California this week. And so I've been really thinking a lot about it. But the more I thought about why I podcast, what I realized I really wanted to talk about was this idea of being all in, of saying yes with every part of your body, with every part of your heart, with every part of your soul. I really believe that when we do that, everything happens in a different sort of way. It just feels amazing. I will talk a little bit about why I podcast and specifically why I created this podcast. So many of you know, I've been a podcaster for years, several years now. And my old podcast, Strong Body Whole Heart was something that I loved doing. And I did it with a co host and we had a great time. But my energy towards that podcast was always, hmm, I'm trying to think of the right word, not focused. I wasn't all in. I was doing so many other things. I felt like I couldn't be all in on that one thing. So it always sort of felt a little bit like I was rushing to get things done and I was throwing things together and I was always kind of afraid that someone was going to figure out I didn't know what I was doing, that old perfectionism rising up again in me. And so when I decided to venture out within her voice, I decided that I was going to be all in. And those of you who follow me on Instagram or Twitter might have noticed lately that I'm using the hashtag world-class podcaster. That is not because I'm bragging on myself. Some people may see it that way, but what that is for me is me completely embodying what I am doing, being all in. When you are all in on something, it completely shifts your energy of how everything feels. I focus all of my creative energy into this podcast. I pour my heart and soul into it. I want you to know that I am passionate about this project. And I am loving every minute of it. And now we're into the beginning of our fourth month of In Her Voice. And we've had over 12,000 downloads, which is amazing. (laughs) And I want to thank you guys for that because you are the ones who are listening. You are the ones who are sharing with your friends. And that would not be possible without you. And I also believe that a big part of the success of this project has been my intention to be all in. This was not a halfway project for me. This was my heart and soul and body and time and energy and love. And when you treat your projects like that, when you treat your goals like that, when you treat your life like that, 
whoa, watch out. Because what you are doing is you are opening up a channel to attract in people and ideas and money and all kinds of things that are going to help you along the way. It doesn't have to be a big project. It doesn't even have to be a project. It could just be something that you are feeling led to change in your life. You've been doing the work. You've been getting still every day. You've been connecting with your inner voice. And now it's time to put those ideas, to put those thoughts that your inner voice are bringing up into you into action. And the best way to do that is to be all in. And being all in doesn't mean quit your job, leave your family, (laughs) you know, do whatever it takes. That's not what I mean by being all in. It's an energetic fullness. And maybe being all in means that your energy is fully committed and you take one baby step. And then you take another baby step and you take another baby step, but you can still be all in if your intention is to be all in. So I want to be really clear. This isn't necessarily about taking big action. It's an intention. It's the intention of being fully committed, of saying, this is what my inner voice is leading me to do and I will do it. I will do it with my whole heart. It's kind of like this. Have you ever like read a really good self-help book or maybe you watch a TED Talk or maybe you even went to a convention or maybe even you listen to a podcast and you get like all excited. You're like, yes, and these ideas are flowing and you're inspired and you have this zest and zeal for what you're going to do. And then a day or two passes And life goes on and real life intervenes. You have to clean the toilets. You have to take your kids to sports and to school. You have to clean up after the dog, right? You have all of these real life things and you forget that feeling of how inspired you felt after that conference or after that podcast or after you finished the last page of that book. That energy goes away. But I think that we can tap into that more. We all know that feeling of being excited about something, of feeling like, yes, I can do it, right? Of starting a new training program or starting a new way of eating and you're like, this feels so good. And then it gets hard. So really this is about keeping that energy flowing even once it gets hard, even once the newness has worn off. You know, it's really kind of like marriage, right? So when you first meet the person that you fall in love with and that you want to spend your life with, it's exciting and it's new and it feels so good. And then as the years go by, you know more and more of each other and it's a different kind of feeling. You settle not settle for something bad, but you're settled, right? We settle down. That's what people call it. A lot of that, I think, is that the newness wears off. And so if you're in a long-term relationship, you know that you have to work at that. You have to work at keeping things exciting. You have to work at keeping that love and that energy flowing. And any kind of a long-term project in your life is the same way. You know, if you are really committed to getting healthy and fit and and getting down to a weight where your body feels comfortable in its own skin, that's awesome. And I want you to be able to keep that feeling of newness. When you first start it, you're like, yes, I can do it. I can do it. And uh, after three or four weeks, it gets a little bit hard. So you have to really figure out how to inject that newness, that excitement, that inspiration. And a big part of that is staying with the vision, keeping your eyes on the prize, so to speak. So really knowing what your purpose is, really knowing what your intention is. With this podcast, my intention is to reach thousands upon thousands of women 
to let them know that their inner voice is there for them. And you know what it's saying? It's saying you are worthy now. You have everything that it takes to do this now. You can live the life of your dreams now. There are times when I'm recording late at night or I'm editing or I am putting together the social media for each episode and I have to remember my why. I have to get back to that purpose. And it's that purpose, that intention that really energizes me, that reminds me of why I'm all in because it's important because I have a voice And I have a gift that I have been given and it is up to me to use it. It is up to me. Nobody else gets to decide. Only me. And each and every one of us has that gift. Each and every one of us has those qualities. Each and every one of us has a purpose. And when we can tap into that purpose and we can thread all of our life through that, then it's exciting. So maybe you're thinking, well, what does being healthy and fit have to do with my greater life's purpose? It has everything to do with it. Because when you are treating your body with respect, when you are loving it, when you are fueling it the way it's asking you to fuel it, Don't you know that you are going to be able to be even more all in on your purpose? You're going to feel good in your body. You're going to have energy. You're going to have excitement. You're going to be aligned fully, body, mind, and soul. They all go together, you guys. So what I'm asking you today is this. What are you excited about right now? What is your inner voice asking you to do right now? What ideas are coming up for you today to put into action, to bring forth your inspired potential? I want you to get excited about that. I want you to be all in on that because when you do that, it's going to feel freaking awesome and you will be living your life's true calling. And that is really, really exciting. When you're doing that, you wake up every morning raring to go. Trust me, I know. I also want to share with you a way that I can help you with this. Besides this podcast, which I'm so glad that you're listening to it. But sometimes, you know what? We need that encouragement. We need that space to be held to say, yes, you're doing it, you're doing it, keep going, keep going, keep going, right? As a coach, that's what I do for people. I hold that space for you. I teach you the tools so you can take that action that will lead you to your fully inspired potential in your own life so you can be all in, so you can keep moving forward and keep, keep the love alive for those goals, that you have instead of letting real life get in the way and take away your energy and and help you lose sight of what it is that you were called to do in this world. And I'm really excited to be bringing to you guys this fall what I'm calling the inner circle ideas in action. And what the inner circle is, it's a mastermind style, group coaching and accountability circle. And we're going to meet a couple times a month. We're going to have some really heart centered, intuitive coaching where I am just going to let my heart lead and let you guys lead and let you guys share what you are putting into action. Share what your inner voice is telling you to do. And then we're going to together keep that energy alive. Together, we will be all in. So registration for the inner circle is going to open up September 4th. And it's only going to be open for a couple of weeks. I really had to sit with this because in the past I've had with my academy, it was registration was ongoing. And I realized that I was having a hard time keeping my energy up for that. And so 
just like I'm telling you, when you feel that energy start to shift, you need to make the changes so you can keep that energy alive and high so you can continue to be all in. So I decided that I'm going to have the doors open for the inner circle for just a few weeks, just two weeks actually in September, and then they're closed until the next time I open them. And I'm not exactly sure when that will be. It's really going to be up to my inner voice. I have to be honest with you. And so if this sounds like something that you need in your life, if you've experienced this where you have the inspiration, you're all excited, and then you lose it. And I know what that feels like, you guys. I know. I feel like I know that even more than I know being all in. Because being all in is something that has just happened for me in the past few years. So I know, I know how it feels to have big dreams and big goals and feel like you can't follow through on them. And that's why I created this. I created it for people like you who are ready to follow through, who are ready to be all in on your life. If you're listening to this in September, you can go on over to the website, kellycover.com backslash inner circle, all one word, and you can sign up. Or if you're listening to this before that, you can go to the same link, kellycover.com slash inner circle and sign up for my list. So you will get an email as soon as registration opens, because I don't want you to miss out on this because this is for you. You guys, I love you guys so much. I can't even tell you my heart is full tonight as I record this episode, thinking about you, picturing you in my group, in the circle, in the inner circle. It's going to be amazing. And I can't wait to join you there. So check it out, kellycover.com backslash inner circle. And as always, if this really resonated with you, please share it. Please pay it forward. Share it with a girlfriend, with your mother, with your sister, with your neighbor. Let's spread the word that we have an inner voice that can tell us exactly what we need and exactly what to do. And you know what? We can trust it. We can live by it. We can let it guide our lives. And when we do, it feels awesome. Remember, you matter. We need you taking inspired action on what your inner voice is saying. Because when you do that, you will change the world. You are worthy. 